I, I got to be honest with you. I don't. I don't think I'd have it in me to sit there while people say the most vitriolic things to you and make fun of you with a smile and then laughing about it. Um, it's a tough spot, man. And in order for a roast to be good, you have to sign up for that. Like you, you have to do it. I have no idea how this came about. I don't know how Tom Brady decided to that he wanted to do this. I don't know if it was of his own behest. My hunch is that it was. Like, why would Netflix even think to call him and say, "Hey, we want to roast you"? I, I, I don't understand. I don't know how that would even come about. It's so random that my hunch is it's probably his people who put it together. Do you guys have backstory on it, Chops? Do you, do you... No, I, but I was thinking, like, you know, Comedy Central used to do them. They would do like one a year every like summer. Yeah. But they haven't, I, from my knowledge, they haven't been doing that consistently, not annually. And so Netflix hasn't been doing it. So like, where did this even come from? Who decided that they were just going to do a roast? And how did they lock in Tom Brady for the first one? Well, I also think the so probably the reason Comedy Central doesn't do them anymore is because all of the funny comics are on Netflix exclusively. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, that's kind of the home of comedy. Every stand up is on Netflix. They're not there's no other real platforms anymore. Like even the ones that drop on HBO HBO used to be, like HBO, you know, like Chris Rock, you think about those when those would drop, like they don't even hardly have any comics anymore. It's it's all on Netflix. So that's probably the way. But I don't know how they land on Brady. Um you know, I don't, I don't know how he was the one. I tell you, it was pretty damn funny. Um, he got, they got Bob Kraft and, uh, and Bill Belichick together. Belichick was absolutely biting in his humor. Now, obviously, comedy writers are writing all of this stuff and they're delivering it. The most awkward moment was when, uh, Jeff Ross, uh, made a massage joke about Bob Kraft and then, <laughs> and Brady, and then Brady went up to him and like said, knock that blank off or no more about that. Something to that effect. Um, that was, was pretty wild. It was a don't say that blank again. That yeah, was the indirect and, and quote. And the mic just right picked up it up. To him. Yeah, I don't think they wanted the mic to pick that no. up. I don't think that was a bit. <laughs> no, 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 that was not a bit. He went straight to him and was not pleased with the joke, um, which was, was kind of crazy. I think if you sign up to be at one of those things, you this is what you sign up yeah, for. Yeah, nothing's off limits. I think so. Yeah. What is his net gain of this? Brady's? Yeah. To show he's a fun guy. Yeah, it's, I think it's a softening thing before he goes out and is going to be in front of all of us all the time at Fox Sports. And it's because uh, I was thinking about this yesterday and asked myself the same question. The hell would he do this? A bunch of money for one, but two, I think, to put himself out there more. And I don't even think the bunch of money's. I, I guess I said that incorrectly. The bunch of money probably isn't the decider because he's got a bunch of money. He doesn't need the money, but to put himself out there as more than just football robot guy who's weird. He's, um, yeah. There, I, there's probably the, some truth to that. I, he's put himself out there a lot. He's he does one of the he'll do that golf thing at any chance he gets. That two on two golf stuff he's done those. He did the haircut podcast that we were talking about his yeah. cuts from the other. I wonder if he's just looking for things to do in media since he's like kind of venturing out into I media. Just every opportunity that comes, sure. he's like, yeah, I might do that. Yeah, I think also just bored. Yeah. So if you've if you've been a professional football player basically since you were in college, um, you, you remember like in the end like how hard he would work the off season to be able to play. Like he'd start working out, he never really stopped. He'd get right to it. All the uh, flexibility stuff that he used to do, like that training. So all of a sudden you don't have to do that. James used to always talk about what's your why. Like what are you getting up to do in the morning? Like he's looking for something to do. Like. You can only play so much golf. Like you have to have something else. Um, and I do think it's interesting that, my, you know, like Manning went in the production avenue. I don't know that anybody would have had that. Um, that he was going to go as in, into sports documentary production guy is yeah. kind of the world he's in now. And he he does the Manning cast and he's he's done those. You know, Peyton's places. He's done those with. Um, he did it with Abby Wambach. He did it with Vince Carter. He did it with PK Subban. He did it with Eli Manning. So he produces a bunch of those, uh, for ESPN. Um, and that's kind of the avenue he's chased. And, and Brady, I think, still trying to figure it out. He's going to call the games next year on Fox. That hasn't stopped yet, but he probably doesn't know if that's going to satisfy him or not or how crazy he'll be about that. I, nobody really knows. Nobody knows what to expect. Uh, many of these jokes are hilarious. We cannot air many of these jokes. They're making the rounds. You can find them. Um, Drew Bledsoe did have a pretty good, uh, a pretty good run at, at Brady yesterday, uh, last night, rather. This was on Netflix. This is Drew Bledsoe, uh, on the roast of Tom Brady. Buddy, you know, you have more rings than I do, but I've experienced a couple of things that you will never experience. You know, the feeling of being the number one overall draft pick in the NFL. 
and a uh, 28th wedding anniversary. It was yesterday. Got him. A lot of Giselle Brady marriage jokes. Yeah. What is it the the one from Kevin Hart? He was talking about something like where he was like, look, if you have the chance to go eight and nine and the only thing you might lose is your wife, you go and do it. <laughs> That's amazing. That is that, that is very strong. Uh, Bob Kraft also had himself a pretty good night. Like him and Belichick took a shot together. Mm-hmm. Kevin Belichick Hart, took two shots because he took one with Gronk, made him take another one too. Yeah, yeah. A lot of Aaron Hernandez stuff too that was – uh, a, a lot going on there. Uh, this was Kraft, though, with a, a lesson for a world leader. And one more thing. In case Vladimir Putin, you're watching, give me my f-ing ring back, will you? <laughs> Do we think he was watching? Yeah, he'll see it. He'll see that. He'll see that eventually, yeah. yeah. The clip will get in front of him. Yeah, yeah. He he definitely he definitely saw that. The whole story there was Kraft let him try on his ring, and Putin thought he was giving it to him. Well, Kraft's got, it. he's got rings to spare. He'll be fine. He's still got five of them. Do you think he even went to ask for it back, or do you think he just said, I'll just make me another one the hell with it? <laughs> that that one probably. You probably don't to ask the things it. back from Vladimir Putin. Were they yeah. in Russia at the time, or was he visiting? So. Well, that was in the old days. That's yeah. That was probably 15 years ago or so when that happened. That's how long the Patriots have been around. Helps that he's got several of them. Yes. Yeah, I guess he's he won does. several since then, too. Yeah. Yeah. It's it, it was an interesting choice to be able to do it. I think you guys are probably right. It, it's the humanizing and let's laugh at each other and, and laugh at me a little bit. But, boy, you'd, you'd have to have a stomach for it because some of this, like the marriage stuff is brutal. I mean, it's your ex-wife. It's the mother of your kids, and you're getting crushed. Does it save you, tough. from you from a personal standpoint, does it save you at all the idea that you get to go up last and then roast everybody individually to get the last laugh. Because then you can go back, you can fire back at them. There was you got to be good at it. Unfair. It's like I, it's you like be I really was really good at it. Dana yeah, White was not good at it. He was really bad. That's why they only gave him 60 seconds because he stinks. Yeah, you can't, you got to be good. It was like that advice I always give people when they're, um, when they're doing the toast, like if you're best man, put toast and all that stuff, like don't be funny. Don't be funny. Don't try to be funny unless you are. And if you don't know if you're funny, you're not. Like that's kind of the thing. <laughs> With that, like, you better make sure you can land the plane. Yeah. Before you Timing is just like so, oh, it's, it's, hard. it's so hard with all that stuff. And, like, real comedians, there's also, they hone there's their jokes plus. over tons of times being on the microphone before you, like, see that special even on Netflix. And those are the professionals. 